Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I feel like one of the more difficult flowers to put into resin are roses and that sucks because I feel like that's what everybody wants to put into resin or to preserve you know a lot of people's wedding bouquets obviously has roses in it so I want to try something out with you guys I want to show you guys how I would preserve a rose in resin um, what I think is the best way to do it this isn't the way that you have to do it it's just the way that I found works the best and kind of keeps the rose looking the best that it can for the longest that it can so if you're interested in what is my hand doing so if you guys are interested in seeing how I would preserve a rose in resin then continue watching So the reason that I have found that roses are so difficult to preserve in resin is because they rot so quickly. If you're, especially if you're trying to keep the rose in its like full shape, it is very easy to rot the flower. And also when you're putting it in resin, a lot of times, and I think I talked about this in my last video or, you know, a previous video, pockets of air will kind of form in that very center. Like if you kind of keep that rose in like a cup shape, like it normally is, and then you put it into resin a lot of times you'll get like a pocket right in the very center of the rose and that will make it rot a lot faster um, and it'll kind of discolor really quick I also have found when you flatten out roses like they'll a lot of times they will look pretty and they'll look pretty for a while but they won't look pretty forever um, and roses kind of discolor very fast in my opinion especially especially when you flatten them out so I like to kind of keep them, I dry them in silica gel and I keep them their full shape. I do take some of the petals out of the center and that is to keep it from molding or discoloring. Like if you leave a lot of moisture in there, it is hard for the rose to kind of dry properly. So I have this fantastic rose. I've been holding on to this rose literally, I'm not even going to lie to you guys, since Thanksgiving of last year. I've had this rose for a long time because I wanted to do her right. Like, that sounded weird. I really want to preserve this right. And I wanted the right mold. I wanted, I wanted to feel really comfortable with doing roses. So, this is the rose that we'll be working with. And I was just Googling what this rose could be because, like I said, oh, I almost dropped it. Um, this is from Thanksgiving, so I kind of can't remember what kind of rose it is. It could be a miracle rose, but it is this gorgeous orangey like yellows and reds. It's just the most beautiful rose and I feel like it dried absolutely perfect. So you can see right down the center. I'm sorry about my nails again. Like as always, can I just say a blanket apology for my nails? They're never going to look nice, I swear. But yeah, you can see the very center of it. There's like a bunch of different layers to it. I just like I'm in love with her. I love her so, so much. So like I said, I dried this a long time ago and it still looks this good. I dried it in silica gel, how I normally do when I show you guys uh, dry in silica gel it's all the same what we will also be able to do is put the rose in face up because again I think I touched on this in a previous video but you do when you're putting like full flowers like this uh, you don't want that pocket so you want to flood and fill the rose so if you're ever putting in uh, a rose into a mold like this where it has to be face down that is more difficult you will want to flood it but with this one we are going to be able to just put the rose face up inside the mold and I will be able to flood it a lot easier so I'm excited to get started on this we are going to be using the counterculture DIY casting resin I use this resin for all of my flower projects because it cures at the perfect pace if you use a resin that is a little more fast curing it could burn the flower so I use this casting resin it cures in 24 hours and it's just amazing so we're gonna get mixing some casting resin and then we will pour and go from there
Okay, so this is our finished piece with a rose and resin. I'm like obsessed with it. It just is like a suspended rose in basically water. There is one layer where I will try to show you guys in like the close up of it, but there is one layer where I didn't mix the resin enough and you can tell that there's like almost a separation between the two A and B parts. So you can see that it wasn't mixed enough and it's not perfectly clear, but it there's no like pockets of air. I've told you guys about pockets of air all the time and it can kind of like destroy the flower in the resin, like it'll rot a lot faster. So I'm just so happy to see that there are zero pockets. Like the only air pocket that I spotted was the one like right here on the back and that doesn't even, I, I think that's fine. I think it's gonna be okay, but right in the center is where I'm usually focused on not getting any pockets, and this just looks so, I'm obsessed with this. It is absolutely beautiful. Again, I'm go oh, just look at that with like the white background. It just looks like, oh. It just looks gorgeous. It is everything, it is so beautiful. I love this. Um, I'm going to show you guys some clips, some close-up clips of it now so you guys can see it and it's glory, some sunshine clips of it sparkling in the sun. So I think what I'm going to do with this piece is I'm actually going to use it to learn how to polish. I have been trying to learn how to polish resin uh, rather than top coating this because there are so many sides. I feel like this is something that you would need to polish rather than top coat. So I don't know really how to polish uh, yet. So I'm still learning and I've looked a bunch of stuff up. I've been trying a bunch of different things, especially with the spheres, which is why I haven't shown you guys how to do spheres yet. So I'm still trying to learn how to polish stuff and I think I'm gonna use this beautiful piece to learn on and I think it'll be, I don't know, I think I'm gonna save that for another video. Um, just kind of like taking you guys along in my polishing learning journey uh, because I, I get a lot of questions about polishing and doing pieces like this, especially on the spheres. Um, so I think we're gonna do another video with this piece and we're gonna learn how to polish some stuff in the future. But for right now, this is how we are going to leave it and I am obsessed with it. So I'm sorry if we're kind of, if I'm kind of echoey right now, we are in an entirely different space and I'm sure you noticed that. Um, so I will be telling you guys all about this soon in a whole separate video kind of dedicated to explaining uh, where I am right now. And in an, it's like an entirely different space it's magical, I'm so excited. Yes, it has to do with that video that I was telling you guys um, a little while ago where I had some news that I wanted to share with you guys. I thought it was hilarious that some of you, a lot of you actually thought I was pregnant. Uh, no, I just I just moved spaces and I have a, a, a larger space and it's just, it's so exciting. I'm so excited to tell you guys about it. So that's where we are right now and I'm not fully like decked out in it yet. Uh, so we are in an echoey space right now. I hope that's okay. I don't know what the audio uh, is gonna sound like, so I'm hoping that it's not so bad. But it's like, it's, I, I just feel like the pieces that we're gonna make in here are gonna be like almost heightened um, because the space itself is just so magical and special and I'm excited to share it with you guys. So look out for that video kind of showing you guys where I am and the whole, I'm gonna take you through a whole tour of the place. I'm gonna tell you what's going on. Uh, so look out for that video. I'm really excited to film it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if this helped you with roses because I get questions like that all the time. A lot of bouquets, like wedding bouquets, 
have roses in them and so many people want to preserve roses so i hope that this helped you guys in preserving roses and resin make sure you're following me on instagram it is at artsy madwoman and subscribe to my youtube channel i love you guys so freaking much i say that with the most sincerity in the entire world i love every single one of you so much and i will see you on the next video goodbye